Hello guys and welcome back to Tutorial Tuesdays and today we're going to be looking at actions. Now this was covered and told about, oh there, let me start again. I told you guys about this in Resource Monday because we released a, uh, a sketch action which I'm just going to show you now. So if I just open up uh, the window and then we go down to actions, we can see a list of all our actions. Now you get a few with Photoshop which is going to minimize those. Um, I also have one of my own which I don't really use much. And then we also have this uh, one titled Face, and uh, it's the sketch that we uh, spoke about. So if I select a layer here, I'm going to select this Batman layer, and I'm just going to select um, the roots. You don't have to, th these individual ones just tell you all the things it's going to do. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. So just select the root one, which is titled Face, and just hit play. And it's going to go through a bunch of actions and create a design for you. So basically what these actions do is they record a, a series of processes and you can um, save them and then you just play them whenever you want. So we're going to create our own and we're also going to learn how to use them. So um, once you are using someone else's action you should double click the file and it will open up in Photoshop. Uh, you should go to window actions and it will appear on this list. So um, like we just did a second ago all you do is your final layer you select the action you want and you hit the play button down here and it will apply it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to drag in one of my own photos here and we just create a new layer so it's not locked layer and we're going to make our own action for this. So to first start off we've got to record our, uh, what we're going to be doing and so I'm going to do some effects to this photo which I want to record as a process for future photos. So what I'm going to do is we're going to um, hit the record button there we go, so we're now recording. Now you don't have to quickly do it and worry about time because it will cut out all the white space in between each action you're doing. So you can take your time. Um, so we can go down to curves first. I'm just going to do a couple of things that I would usually do with photos here. There we go. Play around with curves. Bring up the vibrance a little bit. I'm not going to worry too much about this uh, due to the time. And then we're just going to make it black and white. There we go. So increase the contrast manually a little, make the reds a bit darker. That's about it. Just go do curves one more time. Now it's black. There we go. I want it to be a bit darker and contrasting. Bring the highlights up a little. There we go. Looking nice. And um, and then we're going to merge them. And now we can just stop the recording. There we go. So now we're going to go back to our original layer. So we're just going to hide this one and we're going to play our new action on this layer. And so now we're going to make our own action and we can start this off by opening up your actions toolbox that like we already have under windows and actions. You can also do alt F9 to open up this tab and then we're going to hit the record button. So we're just going to go to new layer and we're going to call this action, I'm just going to call it test one. Set face, don't need to worry about this too much. Um, so set to, this is going to be under the categories, this is under like the folder and so on. Really doesn't matter, you might want to make a new folder, in fact let's do that now. So let's create a new folder, call that test set. And under that we're just going to create a new action called test, oops, one. And okay, and there we go. So now we're going to get ready to record. So we're already recording now, and we're recording under test one, let me just restart. Now it's not like a video recording, you don't have to worry about how long you're taking with something because it will narrow it down and just take the actions you're doing and it's not going to worry about all the time that you, uh, how long you take to do it. So, excuse me. Uh, so we're going to start off by selecting it, we've got it on record, we've got our layer selected and we're going to start doing some actions. So I'm going to add some curves. There we go, let's just bring this down a little. Um, and then we can add some vibrance, just make it a bit more colourful. I'm not worrying about this too much as we're restricting time. Let's bring the black and white down. Uh, just bring the reds down a little bit. There we go. And then we're just going to merge these layers. And um, and that's it. So I just want to stop it now. And as you can see, what it's been doing this whole time is it's been recording each individual layer. And so we're going to record the settings that you do, so like vibrant set to 45 and so on. So what we do is now is if we play it on this on the original layer, so we go back up to the, the root of it and hit play, it'll do exactly continue, continue. And we'll do exactly what it's already done. So if we do this with a new photo, let's bring in this one here, the bush, and hit play. There we go. And it will uh, it will do the exact same process. Now um, we did merge it, which it can't do, of course, because we told it to merge with layer one, and it's a different layer. So it, it, it's it's best to work with. Um, with smart filters. So I'm just going to show you how to export your actions so you can share them with other people and use them on other computers. 
So once you've created an action that you want to save and share with other people, uh, we need to select the group here. So we've got uh, meant to be test. I've got test. Uh, so you need to select the group. We're going to go to this little drop down just here, and we're going to go down to save actions. So you can export it. I'm just going to export it to uh, my actions folder, and I'm just going to add that T that was supposed to be there. Test set, not a capital. Hit save, and there we go. So if I just do so once exported, you'll have a file like this, and when you double click it, it will open up in Photoshop and you'll have it in your actions list. And so that's about it. It's really easy to do. It's great to save processes if you're planning on doing uh, certain things uh, several times uh, or something was complicated and you don't want to forget it. It's a really good way to record actions and uh, and yeah, so hopefully this was useful to you. If you did uh, like it, be sure to leave a like below and show your appreciation. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.